What's up guys mga kabaro? Welcome back to my channel. Your mate Chillard again. And for those who are new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for my new videos. So guys, this is the continuation of our part 2 for the bridge test and check. So enjoy the video guys. Just sit back and relax. Bridge telephones, all are good condition. Check. Next will be the clocks and chronometers. So you need to check the clock. So for now, we will check the uh, the clocks, the time. Joe using the GPS. So the GPS time now is April 6, 2022. 10 hours and 29 minutes this is UTC time guys so plus 4 so now time is 1429 as you can see the time here April 6 2022 1429 the same with the time in the X-Band radar 1429 you can check also in your uh, S-Band radar Fourteen two nine, fourteen thirty. So here on the GP on the ECDIS, now master ECDIS, ECDIS number one, fourteen thirty. And also in your center ship's clock. This is our electric clock, fourteen thirty. In the seconds, you need to check the seconds. It is the same with the time on the GPS and then in your radios there's a time there you can check the time the same so anyway guys the time in your uh, in Marsat and uh, radios like this one MFHF this one will be the same because it is connected in the GPS so it will be the same in your chronometer clock so this is our chronometer clock guys and then as you can see now the time is in UTC 10.30 31 so you can correct the seconds if there, if there is difference to the GPS time that is for the time guys checking everything is okay so you can uh, check the time in your checklist so next guys is the ship's whistles so you can check the ship's whistles guys and then this is our uh, main ship's whistles on the top of the monkey island and then we have also ship's whistles on the forward part forward must uh, have mounted there here in the forward so we can check that one by pushing the button and also pulling this lever so we can pull this one and then it will be uh, make an uh, blast so let's try guys and guys this is our whistle controller and the setup in our whistle will already on the app so we can also change this one to forward horn and press this one as you can see the red light is uh, here and then the button of that is here we will push this button whistle push button and then we can hear the blast forward I already push but the sound is not so loud because we are here inside the bridge so that is for the whistle controller guys and the whistle forward so let's check 
Next, a ship's heading position noted on the course recorder if pitted. So we will check our heading and position. So as per GPS, our GPS is here. So the position is latitude 20 degrees, 39.4 minutes south and longitude 011 degrees, 30.5 minutes east you can check in your like this so the heading is 338 degrees point four and the position is 20 degrees 39.4 south and longitude 011 degrees 30.6 minutes east so the same with the GPS because it is connected into the GPS including the radar so heading is 338 Point two degrees and the position is the same so it is also the same with your S-band radar 338.2 degrees and like this number one 338.0 degrees now because the vessel is moving so here in our auto steering guys it is set up to 338 degrees and as per gyro number two now the heading is 338 and then we will check our course recorder if the same so th this is our course recorder here you can see it is now recording on the paper and I will open this one so that you can clear clear you can see clearly so this pen is recording on the paper as you can see from here now so the heading now on the gyro number two is 338 now here 330 so from here 330 you can count this one every line one so here one two three four five six seven eight so 338 and then on the present time now UTC 1224 so this is uh, the time in UTC 1224 here so course recorder is recording properly and working well so guys everything is okay we can check now the checklist ships heading in position noted on course recorder Fated, so okay so next navigational lights so this is our navigational light controller guys so now we use navigational light forward side lights mass headlight main and then the stern light so if any light is busted this one will cause an alarm we just need to stop from here and this light will be blinking so now everything is okay so no alarm and uh, you can also check the lamp and the buzzer by pressing this button as you can see all lights and buzzer are working all navigational lights are working in good condition so we will check now next will be EIS so our EIS so now everything is okay this is our display so still uh, working as you can see vessel uh, in the vicinity is uh, indicated here so no any alarm our EIS is working well so check now next voyage data recorder BDR so this is our BDR in this side so this is our BDR remote alarm unit guys so this one is in normal mode so as you can see the indicator is 4 so you can still save up to 4 times in this uh, unit guys 
So no any alarm, no any error. So BDR is okay. Our BDR guys is uh, working well. No any alarms. Check this one. Next will be bridge navigation watch alarm system BNWAS. Our bridge navigational watch alarm system is here. So this is our BNWAS operation process unit guys open 24 hours and it will alarm every 12 minutes so you just need to push the button and uh, here this is the BNWAS reset unit so in any alarm you just need to reset the button so BNWAS no any problem all are good condition so check Next will be auto pilot, of course alarm, and auto and manual test. So we will check this one. So now it is in auto pilot. So as you can see, the mode is auto and uh, everything is okay. No any alarm. If, if have alarm, you can acknowledge here, and you can also test this one by auto and hand so as you can see i will check the hand so now the setup is nothing here so this one is uh, in manual steering you can check like this and then there the rudder indicator will move if i move in the starboard five also you can check here starboard pipe and then you can also put in the port pipe then the radar indicator also will change into its uh, position to port pipe so it is also synchronized in the steering now I will put back to the midship and put into auto mode so manual and auto mode steering is okay so, so now set up to 252 so in any course uh, alarm will be here in here in like this so if we are of course we will uh, receive an alarm from this like this and you can uh, acknowledge the alarm here so now the course is in uh, still in range to this uh, yellow line the XTB so everything is still okay so guys everything are in good condition for the auto pilot of course alarm and auto and manual test check this one Next will be the steering gear motor. Steering gear motor is here. So we use only one steering now. So steering gear. So anyway, we change the steering gear motor every first to fifteenth, and the number two will be sixteen to thirty. So now only one steering gear is used because we are now at sea and during pilotage or maneuvering we will use two steering gear so steering gear motor is okay no any alarm by the way if any alarm in a uh, steering gear motor it will indicate here in this uh, steering gear system alarm panel so any alarm will be indicated here and uh, you can reset the buzzer stop here and then the laker stop the flashing of light from this panel steering gear number one and two no any alarms so everything are working well so check this one guys next will be water ingress detection system so water ingress detection system 
is here. So this is our watertight door hatch indication system. As you can see, all the doors which is open is uh, indicated by red lights. So now it's daytime and some engine crew are working down there. So now it is indicated by red light. So any alarm will be uh, sound here by the buzzer system and then you can uh, reset the buzzer and the test the also the, you can test the system lights and buzzer system so water tight doors and water injury system all are okay we can check this one now So guys, mga kabaro, that is the part 2 of our bridge test and check. I hope you enjoy and learn something from the video guys. Continue to watch the last part of our video, the part 3. Until next time guys, mga kabaro, keep safe, safe voyage, rock and roll, si Manlo Loyal.